Hey guys, Steve Chase here. We're gonna talk about progress invoicing using QuickBooks Online in this tutorial here. So if you're a company that would like to send out one invoice that has many different service items or product items through rolling it out through phases, this might be for you. Um, an example is you wanna create an invoice with three phases, 5,000, 3,000, and 1,000, uh, and give your customers the ability to pay per phase as you complete each phase and milestone, they would show progress on completing the invoice. So rather than three invoices, one invoice. Now, the workflow would be that you would start off with an estimate um, or a proposal, if you like that term better. The customer looks over your estimate, accepts it, and then we turn it into an invoice and for each item or phase in the invoice, we can pr produce uh, how much they owe at a given time. So therefore, they would see the total amount, but they would only be responsible for hitting the amount that's due based on a certain percentage or a um, custom amount that we can do per item. Now when it's all said and done, uh, we'll have, or as we're tracking it, there's a great report called the Estimates and Progress Invoicing Summary by Customer Report that will help us see how much the customers paid already, how much remaining percentage of the invoice do they have left to, to be billed out at some future point as the work progresses. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump into QuickBooks Online. I'm using a test account. Uh, File and what you could do if you were to Google QBO test drive, you could sign in to one of these companies here. First things first, you've got to turn it on. So we'll turn it on by selecting the gear in the top right hand corner, account and settings, and then from the sales tab on the left hand side, margin area, we're just going to come down and find the progress invoicing and make sure that it is checked. The default is going to be turned off until you turn it on. So save that. Done at the bottom right. Now let's go ahead and create a new customer. I'm going to go to sales customers and select the new customer icon button here. And let's pretend it's on Eagle's Wings. Okay, and we'll just create a quick email here. All right, save that. Okay, next, um, we are going to create an estimate for them. So we can go in the upper right hand corner, new transaction estimate or by clicking on the quick create button estimate from there. Okay, so design phase is gonna be phase one, 5,000. And then we're going to have um, installation be phase two. Three thousand. Okay, and then we're going to do one more phase three. Maintenance and repair. Okay, so we've got an estimate. Estimates do not hit the books. They won't affect your books until they're converted to invoices. And we've got the estimate date. We're going to send this out. We're going to give them uh, two weeks to have it uh, valid. So we'll save and send that. Okay. And then later down the road, they come back and say, yes, see, we want it. Let's do it. So we can change the pending status to accepted. Now that the estimate has been accepted, we're, our work's not done yet, we still need to convert this 
to an invoice. So there's a command in the upper right hand corner. If you don't have this feature, create invoice in the upper right hand corner, then you'll have to uh, create an invoice separately and then have the customer populate, which will force a drawer to open up on the right hand side if you can push that estimate into it. So we're going to do a custom amount for each line. The alternative was a percentage, for example, 50% of each line and so forth, but we want to just do a custom out for each line, create invoice. If you get to this point and you don't see this, then that means you haven't turned on the progress invoicing, which you'll need to go back into the accountant settings sales tab and turn it on. All right, so we are going to have 5,000 due for the amount due right off the bat. The others we're gonna leave as zero. For phase two, it's still early in the game. Phase two is uh, phase three, also zero. So our total opportunity right now we're putting into the books is 5,000 in the account receivable, okay? So if we wanna um, take a look to see how that looks, let me save that and select the print or print preview. Awesome. Okay. So you can see here that the balance due is 5,000. They can see the invoice uh, 1038 here. Uh, includes the different phases, but nothing yet is on the books as far as what's owed right now. You can see zero is owed for phase two and zero is for phase three, okay. Awesome, so we'll save that and then we'll close it out here. Okay, next um, we get a check in the mail, $5,000. Let's go ahead and receive payment on that. We could do it here. The other opportunity, we could come up to the quick create and select receive payment. You'd want to have that happen. Okay, um, select the customer. John Smith here. Here it is, invoice 1038. We're going to check and move myself out of the way here. 5,000 is what we're receiving it. So imagine it's a future date. Check. We can put a reference number if we want to put the check number there. And then, depending if we're going to be depositing that check straight into the bank account, check account. If that was a single check, we would do that. If it was going to be batched with a group of other checks, We'd want to do undeposited funds. Okay, I've done some other videos on undeposited funds that you might want to check out. That can help you verify how that works if you're not sure about that. So we're going to verify we're receiving $5,000 on that. And we're going to click save and close. Okay, now what's confusing here is that it has that they're paid up the zero zero open zero for due right so but the remember that it's still we still have four thousand dollars outstanding to still do more work in progress invoicing as we go so let's jump ahead and take a look at that report that i talked about earlier to show you the estimates to um, progress invoicing report by summaries we'll just go to the reports i like to just search um, estimates up here and here's the estimates and progress invoicing by customer report we want. And we're gonna look closely at John Smith. You wanna make sure that the report dates are for all dates. So that should be verified right there. And now, let's go down and find John Smith. Here we go. So 9,000 is what was the total amount on our invoice. 5,000 has been invoiced. We've received 5,000. We have 55.56% of it uh, invoiced. And what's left in the balance is 4,000. So I can click on any of these links here to actually open up um, that estimate that we see there. And if we look at the total invoice, or estimate, excuse me, it's 9,000. Take a quick little look right here under this checkbox now. It says closed, 
and we can see that we've closed out phase one. So now we're moving into phase two where we like to collect payment to begin work on phase two, 3,000 right there. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to actually, we're not gonna create another invoice out of this. We already have the invoice. So we'll close out of this. What we'll wanna do is go to the customers and find all the transactions associated. And this would also be, if you're using QuickBooks projects, this would be where you could go into the project center if you'd have a projects tab here and you could find that transaction and open up that invoice and edit. So here we have the invoice 1038. It's showing that it's paid, but we know behind the scenes if we were to click on it, we can actually edit this and just by clicking on inside, we'll go ahead and put in 3000. Okay, so that turns the invoice now into 3000. Let's do, let me save that. Um, you be careful here, it looks scary here, but the transaction you are editing is linked to other features you want to modify it. We do. We want to modify invoice 10308 to do that. Okay. And then we would send and send, save and send that to the customer. Uh, customize any message here, maybe saying, okay, we're now we're going to start phase two and so forth. You can see phase two is in the process here. Now it shows that we've, they've made a 5,000 payment already and the balance due is 3,000. Okay. All right. If we wanted to show uh, other items in here, we could do that, like how much they've paid of each phase and all that. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and just do a quick save. Let's receive payment. That's half of it. So let's assume that they paid 1500 Save and close that. Okay. Well, I'm going to take you down to a quick little uh, changing up the form here. So clicking on the gear, custom form styles. Let's create a new invoice, new style invoice. Content, I'll click. Uh, let me just do this right here. Progress, we'll call it progress invoice design. Click on content, then click in the middle of this section here. And what we'll have the ability to do here is click show more activity options. And there is show progress on line items right there. So that could be helpful. Uh, to render that. So with that in mind, let's get done. Let's reopen that invoice 1038. I'm just going to return to John Smith, the customer, reopen invoice 1038. And to change the invoice now going forward, we would click customize and we would change it from the standard invoice to the progress invoice design that we named it. Put a check mark there and let's take a quick look at print preview. And we'll see um, that actually what I was looking for is not quite there yet. I need to save. Let me try to save that one more. Okay. Selected for preview. Huh. Okay, I'm not quite seeing that yet. So I wonder if that's because we started this before I turned that on. I don't know. Let me let me go ahead and receive payment. On that. Okay, save and close. And then we're going to create a third payment just to see what happens here. Open it up. Invoice 1038. Come down here. This time we'll do percent. Let's try 50% here. So 500 save. Huh. 
not seeing that um, So it makes me wonder if I actually save that design form. Let's go back into real quick custom form styles. It's not checked. Okay, that's why. Show progress. Okay, done. I just need to double check that here. In a second. Okay, it's there. All right. So now I'm going to return back to my invoice 1038. Make sure it's on that. Print preview. This should show. There it is right there, happening right for us right there. So that checkbox that you just saw me click again is showing how much they've paid of how much was due. All right, so if you like to do that kind of detail there, then that's a, an optional scenario that you'd like to do here. Okay, uh, let's return to the report, progress invoicing, search estimates, and progress invoicing summary by customer. And we'll see that we have invoice, the $9,000 was invoiced. We have 8,500 left, um, has been invoiced of that nine, yeah, 8,500 8, has been invoiced of the total 9,000 estimate. That's how it works. And so we're getting our, inching our way closer and closer to zero as we wrap down here. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial and you're considering um, using that in your business that can really help you make sense of your progress invoicing for an invoice item. The key takeaway here is we didn't have to create three invoices. It was one invoice the whole time with updates on phasing through the, the, the progress of the invoicing. Thanks for watching.